All right, levels that we're looking at right now on forward slash NQ is this bull flag that is forming on the one minute. So I'm just trying to watch to see which way it wants to break out of 7 a.m. When a lot of platforms open, it saw, you know, vi vol ugh, volume uh, spike up. So now we're consolidating, waiting for where is the next move going to be. Now we are extended even on the ES. We're starting to see some of these, you know, candles of indecision on the one minute, but we broke out of this long term trend line, broke out of it right here. So then retested it and kept going higher. But the futures are up 20 points already. This is a lot. So these are extended moves up here at this point, kind of waiting to see where we go. If you look here on the five minute chart of the forward slash NQ yesterday, we saw some of these real big impulse moves up in the pre-market session, only to see it all evaporate during the regular session. Will we see that same pattern here today is something that, you know, we have to take a high probability type of trade that we will see the, something similar. You know, price has gone up since the, you know, European open. We are setting up for these types of uh, breakouts, but it is extended. So we're just going to have to, you know, keep an eye on that. I'm just watching, you know, the break, if we break down out of this or break up out of this and then try to take a retest type of, you know, really quick scalp trade, hopefully, you know, a few seconds or, you know, a minute or two at the most. And that's what I'm just, you know, trying to key in here. Could always take a long and then set a, a really tight stop for the first trade here, which is what I might consider doing. Seeing some movement. So I'm going to try to get in here at 19. I may have just missed that entrance. Yep, I missed the entrance. Just missed the breakout. And that's a $60 trade missed. So now I pull the order because now that's not even valid anymore. I'll wait to see if I could get a, here we go. Retracement. And we'll see if we get continuation. I got it at 25. So I'm gonna set a stop at 18. All right. Here we go. There we go. So that was a very nice break out of this wedge to a retest right here. Let's try to make this a little better for you guys to see. This VWAP is preventing that. Let me just go over to the one minute. All right, so you can kind of see it here a little more clearly on the one minute. I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit. All right, so this is much easier to see 
So what I did here was your classic break out of a bull flag, retracement, which I absolutely love. So you saw that I didn't chase the move here. I waited for the retracement and then took my, my scalp. Like I said, before taking this trade, I was looking for a, you know, a couple of seconds trade. That is what I do. That's how I scalp for these quick moves because then you see what happens. Your entire trade is now wiped out. That's why I like to scalp these quick, quick moves like that. So that's it. That's a nice quick $45 you guys saw in, uh, how long was that? Whoops. So we got in at 7.19 and 10 seconds, uh, 7.19 and 10 seconds and sold 23 seconds later. This is exactly what I like to do. This is like, this is how I like to scalp these types of things. Because as you can see, the move that happened here, you could almost call this a false breakout, but we were so extended. You guys heard me go through this trade. What was in my mind, my thought process, was that we were already overextended. I wanted to go for a quick break of this level, of this uh, uh, flag pattern. A quick break, retest, and then take my trade off in 20 seconds. That, that was my game plan going in. I executed it really as well as I possibly could. I mean, we got in on the retest perfectly. To the bounce, took the profit off, and now look, I mean, if we didn't take the profit off, this is $100 now we would be down instead of being up $45. So that's, uh, that's your live trade right there that we were able to capture finally. You know, I'm starting to do more of these. And as you'll see, as you know, time goes on, I'm going to try to grab some more of my live trades because I think it's so important for you guys to see exactly what I just went through. There's some, there's going to be some quiet times on the video. I'm not going to be talking the whole time because I'm going to be concentrating, but I'm going to still try to catch some of my trades here. And you just saw, you know, 20 seconds, $45. That is not bad at all. What's minimum wage? $15 an hour? That's three hours of work in 23 seconds. Not bad at all. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this live trade recap, uh, not recap, live trade actually caught here for you guys. A lot of you have been asking me to do these types of videos. So I hit the record button before I started trading and you were able to see what I looked at. Um, and what I see. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope that you hit the thumbs up for this live video. And um, if you're new, consider subscribing and go check out all my other videos and also check out our Discord. I'll show you guys that right now. Our Discord is a very, very good group, a community that has been growing so fast. You know, we just passed over 200 members and we just started this. It's been really nice. Every morning I'll post our, uh, my daily preview. So all the key stuff, key economic data, the pre-market gappers, you know, we started at around 5 a.m., 6.15 a.m., 7.48 a.m., and then the bread and butter the key levels on the SPY, the Qs, the ES. These are the levels that I trade off of. Very important areas of support, areas of resistance, supply and demand, you name it. It's all on here and I post it every single morning. And yep, that's basically 
that's basically it. Um, it looks like we broke down now. This is, I would now consider that a false breakout <laughs> because we came down here. Now that's not that big of a drop. This is extended, like I said, but I'm glad that I took profits when I did. So that's it for me, guys. I will see you back on the next video. Everybody enjoy your weekend. Take care, guys.